Next question is from Evan Smedley. Is it true that if you don't use it, you lose it? <laughs> yeah. Did you guys ever watch, uh, did you ever go to SeaWorld when you were a kid? There was this uh, walrus called like Schmedley, and no. they, would, they would shoot it, like pretend shoot him, and then he'd pretend to die and come, Schmedley's alive. No. Anyways, that brought me back. Oh, what does that have to do with <laughs> yeah, was, His name's Schmedley. Oh, I was oh. like, what does that question have to do with that? That was oh, so in love. It, it just seriously you got almost me. lost me on what we were yeah. answering right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, yeah. I, it, absolutely. Uh, I, so I think the, the, the research talks about um, three days after recovery from training a muscle that atrophy technically starts to happen right so if you train uh you know legs and you know the next day you feel it a little bit the day, next day after that you still kind of feel a little bit day three you feel like fully recovered um three days after that uh they say that atrophy begins to happen so um, within a week's time, if you haven't touched a, a muscle group, you haven't been training it, that atrophy begins to start to set Oh, in. dude, it's even more than that. Like, people think that the thing that you lose is the muscle strength and size. You also lose neurological connections to the muscle. You lose function. So if you were to stop walking for a few months and then all of a sudden get up and start to try to walk, not only would you be weak, but you would also find walking the skill of walking. You, you would have to lose like a relearn bit. it. You have to. If you stop speaking English um, in you know for five years and then started speaking it again, you would find that your fluency went down. Now you, I want to point out though, and this is something that's really cool for those that are aspiring lifters or maybe you've just been getting going with your first couple of years is. The longer you've been doing it, the the less that happens, right? Like, or the longer it takes to lose it, right? Yeah. So, like, right now, and the rebound is faster, right? It's and that's kind of and this is what's kind of cool about being someone who's aging, right? Because everyone always talks about getting older, how much harder it mm -hmm. is, but I I disagree. If you've been somebody who's been lifting for twenty years. There's a lot of things that I feel at an advantage today at almost 40 than what I did when I was 20. Mm -hmm. The amount of work and eating and consistency that I needed to to do in the gym to just barely look like I kind of worked out was unbelievable. And if I fell off for two or three weeks, I looked like the high school kid again mm -hmm. who did, wasn't even training. That was really frustrating. Now, after decades of training consistently – now it's not like that for me. Now I actually the opposite I feel. I feel like as long as I make sure I touch the get a good lift in mm -hmm. every once in a while, I could kind of sustain this look. If I keep the diet in check and I get some training in, I can keep manage a pretty fit looking physique, which is really cool. It wasn't like that before. So yeah, atrophy does set set in and we do if we don't use it, we do lose it. But like to Sal's point about it's more than just muscle uh, atrophy. There's also a neurological disconnect or that you start to lose, right? Where if you've really solidified those pathways for so many years, I think that's what helps you is that it helps sustain that muscle. It's well, this is also what you really have to consider when uh, you start to have joint pains and arthritis and these types of things of how how much of your your day to day process is not using rotation, not using like different articulations that you need to be doing with your joints uh, in order for them to feel stable and and able and and active. And so the, these are things that we're always trying to stress uh, because if you are consciously uh, you know, trying to make sure that these moves make their way into your everyday routines, uh, you're much more likely to to keep everything going in a positive direction. Yeah, I mean, your body, uh, you know, the human body evolved to be to constantly be efficient, and so what that means is that whatever you do, your body aims at becoming better at and more efficient at. Whatever you don't do, your body has no reason to maintain because whatever your if your body needs to maintain a, a movement pattern or muscle, it costs energy. So imagine if like, you know, you have like, the, you're like the C, you're a CEO of a company and you're constantly evaluating the company. And you're like, you know what? There's no market demand for this department right here. Why are we maintaining this department? It's costing resources. Let's move this department over here where we need more resources. So you lose it. Your body is constantly doing this. It's, it's pruning. constantly pruning and focusing and adapting. So absolutely what you what you don't use, you lose. What you don't practice, you lose. And what you do practice, you get better at and more efficient at. And so it's a constant, you're always going to be reminding your body to do this. There's never, I remember talking to people about exercise and, you know, one of the objections, which I always thought was strange, people would, would have would be, 
you know, I'd say, hey, yeah, well, what if I build a bunch of muscle and stop working out? Then what happens? I'm like, well, it goes away. Like, what do you think is going to happen? <laughs> and they, that was their objection. Well, I'm not going to even start then if it's going to go away. It's like, well, well, that's dumb. Yeah, you know, everything works that way. There's nothing in the human body that doesn't work that way. So, absolutely, continue to practice. Here, you know, like I rarely practice jumping and bounding. And more recently, I found that I'm starting to lose that skill. It doesn't feel as comfortable to me. And I remember like, oh, yeah, I need to start practicing this if I want to maintain this particular skill.